Hello, everybody. How are we doing tonight? Welcome to uh, Lure Painting Live with me. Uh, I am Krista with Colorado Custom Lures. If you aren't familiar with me, um, you can, um, if you can, please like and uh, follow my page or subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Um, yeah, so we're going to do a little bit of a painting tonight. I'm kind of rushing around this evening, so I apologize if uh, I seem a little discombobulated, but I'll have it figured out here in a second. There we go. All right, so I'm going to pop this onto YouTube tonight as well, just for fun. I'm not going to be able to see anybody's comments um, on YouTube because I don't have a second device. So if you're watching on YouTube or if you're watching on Facebook, I mean, you're not going to, I'm not going to be able to respond to any of your comments. I do not have um, the ability. Well, maybe I can fix that. Let me do a front facing camera. I can probably do it. That didn't work anyways. Um, sorry guys. All right. My hair is sticking up too. Okay. So tonight we're going to do some glittery. It won't let me go live. We're going to do some glittery, stupid Facebook. So you're going to have to watch me on YouTube, I guess. You're not going to be able to watch me. Starting live broadcast and then it crashes. Okay. You're not going to be able to watch me. You're not going to be able to watch me on Facebook tonight. I was trying to be flexible, but it just keeps crashing. So anyway, hello, my YouTubers. I'm going to make sure my, my hair looks okay. And then I look together see my mustang shirt gotta rep the i gotta rep the uh the ford my husband works for ford if you guys know chris he works for ford he's uh worked off and on for ford for a lot of time so he got me some some merch i should have my own i have my own merch actually on my website but i don't have a whole lot i guess i should probably up my merch selections a little bit better, but I don't. I don't push that stuff. So I'm going to try and get some t-shirts made again soon that I actually have in stock that you don't have to have printed from Printful. Um, I'll do that this summer, I promise. I'll have some new t-shirts out for you guys at a good price. Um, the ones from Printful I use, uh, which is like a print-on-demand service, and they make really nice shirts. You can kind of pick what color you want. You can pick what material you want, and they have a bunch of different options, but um, it's print on demand, so it's kind of expensive. So if I get my own t-shirts, then I can like make them really affordable so you don't have to like pay a lot. And then um, I know everybody who's got my t-shirts now um, is like their their t-shirts, it's like getting ratty because they've worn it so much. At least some of my some of the people who will uh, wear my stuff faithfully have told me that so I'm working on it um all right so enough of the rambling I am good I'm sorry I couldn't get it on Facebook you guys I could not I can't get it to work it keeps crashing for some reason so it's okay that's kind of why I put it on um one of the reasons I just started to do YouTube only it's just because it was I was trying to manage comments from two different feeds and our internet is not super great like it's adequate for most things but when you start streaming multiple videos occasionally like um people get lag or it's just it doesn't want to work you know or crash or whatever so if i just run it on youtube if you guys can get used to watching it over here then um that would be great just make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications um, I'm going to try and go live every other, um, every other week. I can't really, it's hard for me to commit to every week. I just have too many things going on with the kiddos and, um, just work this time of year is really busy. So, uh, I'm going to try and do every other week. So plan on me being here twice a month. And, um, if things slow down, I might be able to increase that. But for now, that's what I'm going to do. So tonight, as promised, we're going to do some glittery baits. So I got this professional uh, powder, dip powder recycling system. So this is um, just something I got on AliExpress, which is, it's like wish.com, but it's just a different app or whatever. 
And so I got it super cheap. You just have to wait a really long time to get things. If you order them there, you can probably get this on Amazon. Um, so we're going to try this. I haven't tried it yet. This is another way you can put lots of glitter on in a short amount of time without having a mess. So we're going to try it together. Um, I also have um, these and these will work with a really super fine glitter that you probably have to get from like a specialty glitter uh, retailer online. Um, and you can get like a 0 0.008 millimeter um, holographic glitter. We'll spray through this and that will give you a nice little fine mist of glitter on whatever you're working on. So we're going to try doing both those things tonight if I can fit it in. But we're going to start with this one, okay? So I've got some of these spooks. Up, well, I'm sorry, not spooks, poppers up here that I have um, ready to go. These are a um, half ounce uh, holographic one knockers. And these are really good quality. And they're nice and shiny on the sides. They're solid on the top. So they're only foiled on the sides. But these are some really nice poppers. Thank you, guys. I am good. Um, make sure you share this if you can, wherever you're watching or on your Facebook page or your Instagram, whatever you can do to get the word out. That's awesome. Um, all right. So we're going to do, I did this design one other time. It's kind of like a poison ivy design. So it's a purple side. Oops. I almost dripped that everywhere. It's purple sides and then um, green on the belly, like a fluorescent green on the belly with some um, black tiger stripes. And then we'll do a heavy glitter on the, um, the top. So I can do like a purple green mix or I can do green or we can do whatever. What, but these, these were really popular. When I had them in my store, they all sold out really, really fast. So we'll see what, we'll see if everybody is as excited about them this time as they were that time. So I'm just going to put these on a little clip so I can hold on to it without touching it. You can use a helping hands too. I find helping hands, well, I might need a helping hands this time actually. Sometimes I don't like helping hands because, um, I don't know, they're just kind of and so I prefer something that I can just kind of like hold on to easy. And this is how I hang them up too. So I have just like a little binder clip on here. And then I just have a, a little alligator clip. And I attach that. And then I just hang it from hooks. So this is um, a transparent violet. This is, um, you can't even see it hardly on the video. That flash is really like overpowering. Uh, this is actually a color by Iwata, which I'm repping their um, PowerJet Pro compressor, and I'm using all Iwata Eclipse brushes. So your Iwata Eclipse, these are the bomb, the best brushes out there. And that is what I'm hooked up, up, up with, my partnership with Iwata. So they sent me some goodies. So I'm fortunate enough to be able to use all of their stuff, which is the best of the best. And I just happened to have this paint. They didn't give me any paint, but I had this color because I love it. This is Comart Colors, and um, this is just a airbrush ready paint. Um, and this is also made by Medea, which is the parent company, I think, for, I don't know if it's the parent company or if Iwata's the parent company. You should probably know that. But anyway, they make really good airbrush paints too. So these have a nice rich color and they're they're very much ready to spray. So um, Createx will advertise that their paints are ready to spray, but nowhere near in the way that these are. Um, these are right out of the bottle. No, absolutely no need to thin. Okay, so this is a, a much, on my screen it doesn't look that purple. Because I'm watch, I can see the speed on my screen too, but it's really purple in person. Believe me, okay. <laughs> you have to take my word for it. They're really purple in person. But for some reason, and it's probably just my laptop screen is not not got very good graphics, but it doesn't look that purple. <laughs> but it is purple, trust me. Okay, so we're gonna do a flow green belly now. So. Um, I'm just going to actually clean this out because I'm probably not going to use it again right now. So I'll just grab my water bottle 
And then I just spray this out. Take a little bit of a paintbrush, stir it up. Spray it into a cup and then just kind of wipe it out. So with these darker colors, if you're going to follow this up with like a fluorescent or something light, you want to make sure you get it pretty clean because you don't want it to stain whatever the next color that you're using is. Okay, so give it a good white, a good spray. And then this is some wicked fluorescent or neon. What is it? Fluorescent green, not neon. So we'll shake this up and then we will just do a little bit in here if it wants to come out tonight it's kind of clogged so if it's clogged i just stick the end of a little disposable paintbrush in there okay now i'm getting some to come out you don't need too much but this is kind of a low let's see if that's enough so i'm going to put a little bit of reducer in not a lot just a few drops and then we'll stir it up Okay, so I use it just a disposable paintbrush to mix up my paint. It works really well. Um, and then I'll take this. I'm just going to hold it here in this uh, paper towel like this with the belly up. I'll, put, I'll point my camera down a little better so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Hello. All right, so I'm just gonna spray the bottom with it with fluorescent green. Um, I've said this once and I'll say it again. You have to be really careful with fluorescents because um, they have a tendency to um, be really transparent. And a lot of times they will, um, it looks like you're not spraying. You'll think you're not spraying much. But in reality, you're spraying a lot and it'll start to run. So you have to be careful in that regard that you're not um, spraying too much. Hang on, I got to move some cords here. I got to plug this in and I have to have a bottom plug because of the way these stupid hair dryer plugs are. I know you all know what I'm talking about. So sometimes you can just use a hair dryer to dry it. Um, if you want it to dry quicker, you can just use your hair dryer. Okay. And give it just a little spray with that. Okay. This is really spray and transparent for some reason. I might put a little more paint in here actually um, to try and get it to spray. It's coming out really thin. So you can't even see, you can't even see it. So I'm gonna see if I can get this a little thicker because I'm not getting much coverage. <clears throat> I think I thinned it too much. Okay, I'm just gonna pick this one up like this this time. So it'll take us several layers to get this to be a very, um, a very opaque color. It's really, really transparent right now. Sometimes with uh, fluorescence, you need like, sometimes like six or seven coats. To get decent coverage um, and if you try and rush it you'll just end up with a mess like a runny mess so you just got to be patient and just keep keep going Everybody uh, out there staying safe. I know there's been lots of bad storms in some parts of the country this week. Fortunately, I left I left tornado zone. So I don't have to deal with that anymore. We live 
close enough to the mountains that we don't have too many natural disasters. Fires are the biggest thing we have to worry about where I live, and uh, we don't really live near any that much vegetation, so we're kind of in the desert. Um, but I grew up in Iowa, and uh, there were lots of tornadoes where I grew up, so I hope you all are staying safe wherever you are, where the tornadoes have hit, and your families are doing okay. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining tonight. All right. So this is looking pretty green. Just want to make sure I don't smear it. So I need to give it a quick, a quick dry here. So we've got purple and green. So I should have probably done purple on the top here too, but I wasn't thinking. So I'll have to put that back in. So this is a neon green on the bottom. I don't know how neon green it looks on your screen, but it's pretty neon here. All right, so I'm gonna clean this one out. And then, um, so on the top, you can do black or you could do purple, but what we're gonna do is cover it up so much with glitter that it's probably not really gonna matter that much what color is underneath. Um, that's my plan anyways. So, usually the way that I've done the glitter in the past is with clear coat, like I'll put some clear coat in the spot where I want a lot of glitter and then I'll I'll put the glitter over that area, um, but I'm going to try it with paint tonight and see if it works because I don't want to bust out um, really toxic clear coat right now. Um, I don't use the same clear coat I used to use. I switched over to an automotive clear coat um, this past year because I started doing a lot. I'm sure you guys have noticed that I've been doing a lot of swim baits, and I do really like the... Um, the UV clear, it's really good for crankbaits and jerkbaits and stuff, but it's not ideal for swim baits because um, you have to keep the um, clear coat out of the joints. And so um, with like a UV, it's really, really hard to do that and get good coverage. So that's why I switched. All right, so this is just a stencil that I made, I think, on my um, Silhouette Cameo, which is like a Cricut, you know, vinyl cutting machine. I just drew it, like, from scratch, and then I put it on a stencil or made a stencil out of it. So I'm just going to line this up right here with the bait on the other side, and I'm just going to spray some black stripes down the, the side, and we're going to just do, like, a tiger stripe or perch like stripe. We're gonna make this one bright. Okay, so again, same thing with the black. You know, you don't want you don't want it to spread out underneath your stencil. If you if you've watched my videos in the past, you've heard me say these things a million times. I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but some people are just, you know, might just find this video um and haven't seen any of my other videos so it's important to repeat these basic concepts right so when you're stenciling you want to be careful how much you spray at once so you don't get any um running underneath your stencil and it'll mess everything up so you just got to be real careful do a little at a time make sure you're not overdoing it Okay, and usually with black, you don't really need that much to get it to show. Uh, these are kind of skinny. I don't really like how skinny they are, so I'm going to make these a little fatter and use a, just use a different um, part of my stencil to make, it, make them a little fatter because I don't like how it looks. This black is, in case anybody's wondering, this black is just Wicked Detail Black. You can use any of the blacks by Createx, they're good. Um, the Wicked paints spray a little nicer than the regulars, but they are all more than capable of getting the job done. So whatever your budget allows should be fine. Okay, so that looks pretty good. <clears throat> so we have the purple with the, <clears throat> excuse me, tiger stripes. <clears throat> Getting ready to order your jersey. Nice. We actually have our first kids tournament of the year tomorrow morning. And we got really lucky. The weather is actually supposed to be pretty good. 
So um, we'll be getting up bright and early tomorrow morning to uh, do some fishing at the pond. So Chris took over, my husband took over the tournament trail this year for the kiddos. So um, he's going to be doing that and we're doing it through the ABA. So these kids will have a chance to go to the classic in uh, Lake Havasu in the fall if they qualify. And so that's pretty exciting. I'm sure we'll um, we'll have somebody go and have a chance at winning a new boat and fishing with the with the pros. All right, so I'm almost done here. Simply this side. That looks pretty good. So now we have our stripes on both sides. So this side and this side, they go all the way around. And we've got our neon green belly. Okay, so we're gonna do um, the, I'm gonna do the, the mouth real quick. So I'm gonna have to probably, um, here, I'm just gonna spray some black on the back of this. Just so um, it's all one color kind of. We're going to go over this with glitter, so it's not really going to matter that much, but I'm just going to spray it. I don't know why I'm doing that, honestly. I really don't know why I'm doing it. Just because, I guess. I don't know. All right. So um, when I clean out my brush, usually I just like, if there's some paint dried on the side of the cup here, I'll just kind of scrape it and then um, wipe it out, get all the dried paint out. And then make sure you get do it one more time. And if you need to, you can also use um, uh, alcohol if you have like some um, denatured alcohol. I don't. I'm not picky about what kind I use. Some people say you should avoid using 70% um, alcohol because it leaves a residue. I, I've heard that. I wasn't aware of it until recently, but I guess that's the case. Whatever. If you're just cleaning, I don't think it really matters. It was like really, really hard to get 90% alcohol during COVID. You can find it anywhere. So you had no choice. You bought whatever you could find. Okay. So let's do the, the mouth. I'm going to have to actually grab some white real quick here because I have um, uh, gotten some green. That's not the right thing. Hang on one second, guys. I wasn't anticipating this. Okay, so I had to grab some white because I got some green on the mouth, and it will show through when I put the red on. So you got to kind of bite the bullet and fix your boo-boos sometimes. So the reducer I'm using is just a Createx reducer. 4013 or 4011. I don't really remember what I have in there actually. <clears throat> They've changed their reducer um, formulation. Not that, I mean, it was like a year ago or something. And uh, I always forget what their, the number, the, the what do you, part number, item number, whatever they call it. Is. Okay, so I just wanted to shine that up so it didn't have any green on it. So when I paint the red, it doesn't show through. My little green boo-boo doesn't show through. Ooh, I keep trying to grab that. <laughs> that bottle, if you don't, if you're wondering what that bottle is, it's lacquer thinner. I use lacquer paint normally. I mean, usually I'll suit it up with a mask and a with a respirator and my fan on and uh, I use really nasty paints that are terrible to breathe. So I don't use those when I'm doing my show um, because it just would not work. But I have all these, I used to use these water-based paints all the time. So I still have all of them. 
and I can still go back and use them if I need to, like if I don't have the right colors that I want for, but um, generally speaking, don't use them much anymore. Okay, so let's put some red in here. This is deep red, transparent deep red. Okay, it's almost a pinkish red, which kind of, it's misleading. When you look at this color, it looks like it's going to be a dark red, and it really is not. At least, I mean, maybe it is if you put like a lot of coats on, but when it first comes out, to me, it doesn't look like a deep red. It almost looks like a pinkish red, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So you can even see it on this paper towel. It doesn't really look all that dark. I bought it thinking it was a dark red. You see, it's almost it's almost like pink. So I don't know where they're getting that name from. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to kind of do this. I'm going to put my hand around it to keep it off of here. That's the best way I've found to do popper mouths um, without screwing them up too much. So again, this is a really transparent color. See, it's kind of pink almost. So you're going to have to do like a bazillion coats and dry it in between. Nice. That sounds like a soul jersey. We didn't order new ones. We got new ones last year. And we're not, we didn't order any this year. I don't really wear one very much. I don't really fish tournaments though. I just supervise tournaments, like supervise the kids. Or I'll go there to help out with weigh in or just to like hang out. But I don't fish tournaments because I'm not very good. I don't have that much time to fish really. My kid, my son, and my husband are the ones that are really into and um, are into it. I just do it for fun and with the kids. And I'm also pretty fair weather. Like, I'm going to freeze my butt off tomorrow morning. I like I like the, the heat. It's a good one. It's warm. Okay, so that looks pretty good for color, I think. So, again, it's almost like a dark pink more than it is red. It's like a dark pink. It works with this color combo though. I think the dark pink looks good with the green and purple. So I'm going to make sure this is dry so it doesn't smear. Okay, that should be okay. It's not perfectly dry, but it'll do for now. Um, so, okay. So we've got the purple. Mouth is done. Green belly. Okay, so now we're going to do the glitter. So let's get this box out and see what this is all about. So I know the concept, but I have not even tried using this yet. So we're going to see how it goes. Okay. So there's slots. I have no idea what the slots are for. I guess you can put two scoopers in here. I don't know why, but the idea is, I guess you use one scooper to pour the glitter and then it gets caught in here and then you can pull it out and like dump it back into the bag or container. So we'll see what happens. Okay. So let's pick a color first. So we're going to just set this on here. We're going to have to kind of like do part of it and then like move it and do the other part. So um, I've got all these different colors. These are from, I can't remember where these are from, honestly. Um, they're from, I don't know. I'll post the, I'll try and remember to post the, um, I'll post the links for the glitter where you can get them. If I think of it, I'll go back and I'll look it up where I got these ones from. So I have this purple. So this is like a super dark purple. It's called Purple Rain. And it's got some other colors in with it. That would go. And then I have a dark green as well. So 
So this one is called Galileo Green. Uh, it's got like a little bit of blues and stuff in it too. So we could do a mixture of these two, kind of like, um, I don't know how we'll mix them together, but I have that. And I don't think any of the other, there's another green, but it's more, got a little more blue in it. And so I don't think that's gonna look that great. So why don't we try, what do you guys think? Green, purple, green, purple, green. Should we do green? Let's do a little purple first and then we'll do some green on top because it's probably going to take a couple coats to get this right. All right. I have no idea what this is for. Anybody want to make any guess about what this is for? I have no idea. Okay. So I'll push you down here again so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to put some of this in my airbrush. This is transparent base. I barely have any left, so let's pray that this lasts. So I guess it would help if I clean the red out of my airbrush first. I could just use a new, a different airbrush, but I'm being lazy about it. I need to clean this out either way. So I don't wanna, usually the, the time that I am most likely to leave paint in my airbrush is after a show because I don't know, I get distracted doing other stuff right after the show's over, like making sure I post my links and stuff. And then I forget the paint in my airbrush and I come back the next morning and it's still there, but it's like all dried out. So don't do that. Okay, so this is transparent base. I'm gonna put some in here. That comes, you don't need to dilute it or anything. So I'm just gonna spray the, the top half of the, uh, the back of this. And then we're going to have to move fast. So I'm going to take out one of these scoopers, actually. We're going to have to move fast because we want to get this really wet. Okay. And then we're going to put the glitter on quickly. So just, you can just kind of, I don't care if I waste a little of this because like, honestly, um, these are pretty cheap. They're like, I want to say that this little tiny container was like $3 or something. And um, it goes a long way because you don't use them that often. And then they, you don't need that much. They're just like little tiny sample sizes or whatever. Okay, so just knock that off into the And then we'll kind of brush it off the sides to get the, the line kind of straight in the top. But it's okay if we go over a little bit. So see how sparkly that is? It's pretty sweet, huh? Okay, so I'll do the back now. I'm going to spray this, and I'm hoping it's probably just going to launch glitter all over the room. Maybe I'll hold it up while I spray it, and then I'll put it down. So we'll get this really wet. All right, and then we'll set it down here. This is working okay. I would it's still making a huge mess. Like you might be saving some of the glitter, but I guess it's better than the alternative way of doing it, which would be like ginormous mess everywhere. But it's still a mess. I'm gonna be honest here. This is still a huge mess. Glitter bomb, yeah. Okay, so I'm just kind of brushing away the extra. All right, Ooh, that's a lot. It really stuck on there. A lot of it did. So let's go over it with the. Ooh, that is like really sparkly. Check it out. See that? You just mesmerizing. You just want to stare at it for hours. Or is that just me? <laughs> I love the sparkles. I love them. They're a mess to do, but I love them. Okay, so now we're gonna take this scooper, see, and you just scoop it right back into the container. So you don't have to waste it all and then put the lid back on. I mean, I still made a huge mess though. Okay, now let's do the green on top, a little bit of green on top of this. So I'm not gonna spray this as heavy because I don't wanna cover up all the purple, but we're gonna just like, I don't know if I'm gonna use the scooper or if I'm just gonna sprinkle this. 
because I don't want to cover up all the purple. So let's just see how this goes. This is all an experiment. You're you're all like here for my experiment. And I'm going to even get a little paint on the sides here. And I'm going to just let this kind of, um, I'm going to let this kind of fall onto the sides of the bait too. And we're just going to like make it go over the sides a little bit and give it like a, like it's fading onto the sides. And it'll look cool. All right. That looks pretty cool, actually. Okay. So put the lid on that. Always put the lid on because if you spill that everywhere, you're going to hate yourself afterwards. Ooh, this is so cool. I love it. Okay. I'm just patting this down to get it to stick. Okay. So now I have like the fine, can you see the fine glitter all over the sides? And it's got holographic foil. So now we have the double extra super cool bling going on. Pretty cool, huh? So there you have it with the neon belly. So if you're wanting to attract some attention, that should do it. All right. So that one turned out pretty good. So I'm just going to set this aside and then we'll do another color and we'll just miss some glitter on this one with our glitter sprayer. So I don't have any excess here. So I'm just going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. How do you, I have to clean this off like inside or something in the sink or something. And then I'm just going to take this mess and throw it away. Okay. I don't exactly remember what I was going to do here. Okay, let's go ahead and take a jerk bait. I already have this. No, that's not going to work. Yeah, it'll work. I'm having an internal debate, people. Let's redo a crank bait that I already had done, but we're going to redo it. I have a bunch of randos hanging here that are like, uh, they're project baits. So we're just going to go ahead and reprime one and we're going to try a different color. So we're going to do a little bit of a subtler glitter look on this one. We're going to do a, a more muted glitter look. <laughs> I'll sound like a fashion influencer tonight. So you can be more muted look. And y'all are like, I lost everybody when I said that because my, I definitely don't have the fashion crowd. I don't think here there's somebody on the other end of the line screaming. Yes, you do. It's like one person. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm just doing a white base coat over this. This was just a one-off date I did. I don't remember when. I was just messing with colors or something. And uh, I came up with some random stuff that didn't look that good. And so this is just a sacrificial test bait right now. So I'm just giving it a quick prime of white. It's going to be a lot more wet than I want it to be. So I'm going to dry it real quick. Give it a quick dry. And I'll put this down so you guys can see what I'm doing. So we're just doing a quick set, heat set. Should have started with the blank it's easier <laughs> it takes a little work to get this to get the colors covered 
All right, we're going to call that good because we're just trying to play around here tonight. Let me just get this heat set real quick. All right, so I did this. I did this similar color in some minis, um, some micro crankbaits a while back, and I liked the color, um, but it didn't. I didn't end up making a bunch of them because I don't know. I was just messing around with colors, I think, and doing some baits that I had sitting up that needed painting. So um, I'm going to revisit this color and we're going to add a little bit of glitter to it. It's just a real simple pattern. It's not going to take very long. So I'm going to just do like a neon yellow. Let me make sure this is shook up adequately. It's been sitting for a little while. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of fluorescent on the side. I have a 0.5 tip in this, by the way, in case anybody's wondering. I prefer a 0.5 over a 0.3, just uh, because I don't like I don't like dealing with clogged airbrushes. And really, honestly, if you want to do detail, um, you know, as much detail as you're going to need to do with a lure. You can probably do with the 0.5, honestly. Um, I guess if you uh, if you have a hand that's steady enough to do absolute micro detail on a lure, or you want to spend that kind of time, you could use a finer tip. Some people like it better, so it's kind of a personal preference thing. Okay, so some bright neon yellow on the sides there. And then um, I'm gonna do a brown on the area above that. So I was just doing some back flushing there. I usually do that when I get, um, what you'll find with some of these paints is when they get a little older, the pigment in them starts to clump a little bit and it'll start to clog your airbrush. Um, I mean, you can strain them with like a, like a fine pantyhose if you want to. That doesn't always really work that great. Um, some people will recommend that you uh, stir them and let them sit for an extended period of time to let them mix better. I don't have that kind of time, so if you can do that, that's great. But I can't. And uh, so it can be kind of a pain. So the moral of the story is, see this one has pantyhose on it. Don't buy paint in too big of containers because it gets old and then it starts kind of being problematic. <clears throat> All right. So this is um, Sepia. Wicked. Detail sepia, which is just brown. It's a transparent brown color. I wish it was not so transparent. I wish there was a version that was not so transparent because they don't really have like another brown that I like. So you just have to do like a bazillion coats if you want it to be dark. It's good that they have like a, a shading color like this, but I do wish they had um, a brown that wasn't, uh, that was similar, that was not as transparent, if that makes sense. Sometimes it gets annoying having to do like 600 coats. impatient for this. Also, um, I did this, I added a few baits to the store tonight. It's not that much, but there are a few square bills in my gizzard shad. If you guys wanted 
some of those, and then there's some swim baits in that in that same color too. Um, I also added a couple other random things. They're just things that I painted alongside of some of the customs that I was doing because I was um, like I was doing that color for some other stuff. So I, I did some um, other baits to put on my website in the same color. So there's a few that I added if you want to look. So this isn't quite the same color that I used when I did this before, but we're going to hope that it works out. If it doesn't, we're just trying to concept here, so it's not really that big of a deal if the color isn't perfect. I'm going to show you guys how to do the how this little tool works. Okay, so one more clean quick, and then I'll put in... Um, Put in some copper. This is pearl copper that I'm going to put in. I should grab, I wonder if my, hang on one second, I'm going to try and see if I can this other real quick. Let me try this one. This will work better. This is, um, this is Tester's Aztec paint, and I like this stuff because it's really opaque. So this is like a, um, this is like, um, I just a different, line of paints and they're they're more opaque than the createx so i'm just going to hold this up against this mesh i just put this in this mesh in here so i'm just going to press my bait up against that and then i'm going to spray over the brown with this copper color <clears throat> And just like anything you're stenciling, you want to be careful how much you're spraying at any one time so that you don't uh, overdo it. So that is the, the copper with the brown. And it looks pretty cool. I like it. I like that color combo. So let's go ahead and put the other side on. And then we'll do like a dark black top. And then I'll put some glitter on top of there. We'll do a little belly color. Okay, that should be good. All right, so let's pull that off. So both sides got copper scale under the neon yellow. I like it. So we're going to put some black now on the back and then we'll find a good glitter color to, to add to it. And we also need to put a dot on it. You got to have a dot. And then even, let me think about what color we're going to do glitter. This stuff is harder to clean out of an airbrush, though, for whatever reason. I don't know if they still make the uh, Tester's Aztec paints anymore. Somebody told me they were going to stop making them, and I can't remember if that ever happened or not. Maybe if you know, comment and let me know. I don't know. But I always said those are my favorite uh, metallic pearls. Okay, so let's get some black in here. And... Um, We'll do a little black over the spine. That was not that was not a good idea. There's still water in there. Like a dummy, I know better. Um, I think I have this one set at 20 or so right now. Let me check where this one goes. This is attached over here. This one's running at about 20. 8 PSI or so. I usually run around 30 or a little less. Just depends on what I'm doing. If I'm doing detail work, I turn it down a little bit. Um, but you have to make sure your paint is really thin if you're going to turn it down really low. Otherwise, it might not spray. I don't like it too low because I don't like to fight. 
I don't like to fight to get the paint out. But if you run really thin paint and you're really patient, which is the better way to go if you can, um, yeah, you can run like 20, 25. Everybody has a preference. Some people like their PSI higher. Some people like it really, really low and they like their paint really thin. It just depends on the person. So I'm just gonna put a dot somewhere on the side here. So just added a little kill spot there. Okay, make sure you keep your stencil nice and close to the bait when you're doing this and don't take your time. Just get the paint on there and get done. Okay, because you want it to be a nice and crisp circle. You don't want it to have, unless you want it to be faded on the edges, because you can do that freehand too by just slowly pulling away a little bit as you're spraying. But you have to be really good and really careful to do it freehand. So let's pick a glitter color. We have a coppery color. Do we want it to match the bait? What do you guys think? Do we want to do a coppery color to kind of match the scales on this one? Or let me see what else might work. This one is like, um, it's called Aries. So it's like a white holographic glitter that doesn't really, like it doesn't only has a color when you flash it in a light. Otherwise, let me see what else I have here that might look good. This is like a, well, that won't look very good, I don't think. It's a gray holographic, which is really pretty. Um, there's a black, like a dark gray, almost black glitter. I would have to be careful how much I use of that if I was going to put it on here because I don't want it to like be crazy. And then on most of the other ones are just like silver holographic or other white holographic colors. Um, and then I have a blue that wouldn't look good. There is a green. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm leaning towards the copper. Anybody? What do you guys think? Anybody have an opinion? Blackish gray. White. Or copper. What do you think? What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? I'm debating, debating. Let's try the copper. Yeah, let's do the copper. Okay, so this is a glitter, this is a glitter mister. Okay, so it's got this pump and it's really cool. So let me put the glitter in here. I have used this before, unlike the other thing I just used. I had not used that one before. So I'm just going to pour some of this into this. I have more of these. These are really inexpensive. These glitter spring thingies, contraptions. This glitter is from glitterlambs.com. Lamb as in the animal, glitterlambs.com. You can buy um, 0 0.008 millimeter glitter. And that is like the super fine stuff that a lot of these bait companies use this is the name of the company if you can see that it's backwards i know but um that's what some of these big companies use that kind of looks like a dust it's this super duper fine stuff you have to find a you have to find a website that has that stuff and it's kind of hard to find so glitter lambs is a good one so you turn this thing sideways this is closed and this is open okay and then you start pumping this and it'll just burst out little tiny puffs of glitter. I already have glitter all over his computer and he's going to kill me. It's my, it's Chris's laptop. Cause I, I have a desktop. I don't have a laptop. So, tomorrow he's going to be at his tournament. Or, I mean, I guess, no, he's, it's a kid's tournament. So we don't do, um, I don't know if he's going to use it actually, because since he took it over, they might be doing it a different way, but they used to not, they never really did it computerized with the kids tournaments, but he uses it for the, um, his ABA tournaments cause he runs the ABA tournament trail and uh, he's gonna open it for his next tournament and he's gonna see glitter all over his computer and he's gonna be like, damn it. <laughs> and he'll know it was me. 
I know he's not watching this right now because my kids are, well, both kids are home and his, his uh, tournament partner is here because he comes and helps with the kids' tournaments. And my daughter has a friend over, so he's probably like just waiting for me to get done. So let's mist this nice and wet with a, this is just a balancing clear, or not balancing clear, I'm sorry, it's transparent base. So we're just gonna spray the top really well. We wanna get it nice and wet so that, that we have time to spray the glitter. Okay, now I'm gonna take the glitter and I'm gonna start, this will start pushing air and glitter out. Come on. I hope you guys can see this on the camera because it's not very, um, this glitter is really, really fine. And so it's not going to show up that great on camera, probably. Anyway, it comes out really slow. And since I just filled this one, I think it's coming out even slower. I might need to put more in here. It's working, it's just really slow. It hurts my finger now, I'm getting tired. There we go, that's better. So I would fill it up a little bit more probably than what I did, because there's barely any coming out, but you can see the sparkles. See them? So it just blows lightly blows like a little bit of glitter all over it so you get some sparkles so it works really well so if you guys um are looking for a good way to put glitter on i get that question a lot um a lot of times i always said put it in your clear coat but this is a, another way you can do it if you fill it up a little bit but more than that it will come out a little bit faster but it still it doesn't come out at an unmanageable pace on that on those things so yeah so hopefully you guys found that helpful if you're painting or if you're fishing and you just like the colors I did or the, um, the stuff I'm putting out, feel free to comment um, or message me on things that you'd like to see me put in the store. Um, or if you have questions about my equipment, uh, always using all Iwata now. They really hooked me up. So i um, super excited to have them working with me. And um, stay tuned. I'm going to try and do a video every other week. And um, so stay tuned. I'll try and post on Facebook when I'm going to go live. So make sure your notifications are on there. So you're getting all of my messages there. So everybody have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe and we will see you next time. Bye.